My name is Greg Wolfe and I'm the Editor-in-Chief of the Journal of Roman Archaeology, JRA for short. At the moment I'm Professor in the University of California at Los Angeles, UCLA, and I'm in the Departments of History and Classics and also in the Kotzen Institute of Archaeology. And before that I was in London where I was the Director of the Institute of Classical Studies and also a Visiting Professor of Archaeology at UCL. I've been working on the Roman Empire and a little bit on its predecessors in Iron Age Europe. Uh, for most of my career, I started working on Roman Gaul. I've since expanded and worked on wider areas of the empire, but I still feel comfier in the West than in the East. The JRA was founded in 1988 by John Humphreys and then taken over by Cambridge University Press in 2021 when John retired. John did an amazing job creating the first journal that covers the archaeology of the entire Roman Empire. He insisted that underneath its title it should say an international journal and it still is. We publish in five languages, English, French, German, Italian and Spanish. We have an international team when we get together for editorial boards. We have people scattered all the way from Melbourne to Tübingen which makes finding a good time for a Zoom meeting quite tricky sometimes. We have an editorial board drawn from establishments all over the Roman Empire. The Roman Empire covers the area that now is occupied by nearly 50 countries on the three continents. And we're really determined to keep that journal international. So we're not really trying to promote one particular national view of Roman archaeology. We're a journal that tries to connect up this very large community of people who work in the Roman Empire and bring them into a conversation. And that's what the journal sets out to do. So we publish twice a year and we have we publish a range of different kinds of articles. There are the main articles, uh, long ones up to 15,000 words. There are shorter archaeological notes. Uh, we publish reviews, larger review articles, and we're now just introducing publishing special sections. The first will probably be on archaeology of Rome and Greece, recent, re recent work, and also discussion articles with responses to them. So it's a wide range of things we publish. And we have contributors who come from the university world, from museum world, from specific research institutes and independent researchers. And we're really welcoming people from all those different backgrounds. An article doesn't have to be about a huge geographical area to fit into the Journal of Roman Archaeology, but it has to appeal to a large geographical area. So, for example, in this current uh, issue that we're just about to press the print button on, we have an article on the archaic period in Rome, offering a new interpretation of what was going on on the Palatine, right at the beginning of Roman history. And we have an article on the reuse of Roman stones in medieval Rome, right at the other end. So this gives some idea of the span. John Humphrey set out and said 700 BC to 700 AD. We say Etruscans through to Byzantium, the whole empire, Italy. And we're really interested within that in Articles that are challenging at the theoretical level, that de demonstrate new methods. We're particularly interested in archaeological science. An interesting article in the last issue um, looking at what you can tell about metalwork in the vicinity of Nîmes by looking at sediments of the stream that drains off that great basin that is now an amazing uh, Place de la Fontaine. We also want to publish articles that are analytical at a large level. In, our, in the issue that's just about to appear, we have an article on the last Mithraea of the Roman Empire, how they changed from that classic model you see in the second and third centuries to something new in late antiquity. And we welcome papers on all sorts of things in between. So that's what we're after. Articles of big significance, not necessarily very long, although some of them are, um, ones that will appeal to people working on all different kinds of Roman archaeology, artefacts, art history, particular categories of settlements and land use. We have a paper on the Roman economy of 
Gallia Narbonensis just about to come out. We have it. We have paper. We publish papers in the past, which are almost literary. We published one last issue on a graffito scratched into part of a Roman Dressel 20 oil amphorae from southern Spain, which has in it part of the lines of Virgil's Georgics, one of the first instances where we can really say, we can demonstrate people, not just reading, but knowing and, and reciting, using Virgilian perch out of the provinces. So we've got a very, very broad concept of what Roman archaeology involves. And the only really important criterion for us is is it important? Is it significant? Will it interest a wide readership? We welcome contributions from people at every career stage. This current issue has an important piece in it from someone who's not yet finished her doctorate. We also have pieces written by people who retired. We have collective pieces, quite a few of them, written by teams. And we're perfectly happy to have international teams. So, from that point of view, we welcome all kinds of contributors. When Cambridge brought JRA into its large fold of archaeological and classical journals, uh, the first editor was Jen Trimble, and she did a fantastic job with a new team in establishing a new pattern for the journal, making much more use, for example, of electronic resources, so we can put supplementary material in online only if we want to. And that team is now working its way through the system. We're very nearly at the point where everybody who's in the first team of editors uh, has stepped down. By the next middle of next year, we'll have a new team and we're continuing to try and find new things to do with it. I think one thing that I'm really keen to do in my tenure as Editor-in-Chief is to be quite proactive in finding good articles and also in trying to find new formats so that we can involve people in different ways. So that's what's behind the special sections, that's what's behind discussion articles. We want to not necessarily drive the debate, but be at the forefront of conversations of what are the priorities for Roman archaeology? Now, Jen and her team did this in different ways when they started. One of the key things that they introduced was a very strong ethical commitment. So uh, what we publish has to conform to internationally approved guidelines in relation to antiquities, in relation to occupied territories um, and things like that. That's still very important to us. We're also very keen to have a diverse range of contributors, uh, diverse in terms of gender, age, nationality, language. So we're keen to keep all those things going as well. What I'd like to do particularly new in the in the coming years is to try and move away from simply being responsive. We get lots of great submissions and we're still keen to have them, but also to move into trying to work out what ways the field needs to be served by its international journal, what we can do uh, to help the journal develop and help the discipline develop as well. I took on the journal at quite short notice and um, was very grateful to all the colleagues in Cambridge and among the existing editorial team for helping me get to grips with it. And I'm still grateful to the people I work with. It is actually enormous fun. One of the great things about this is that you get a kind of bird's eye view of Roman archaeology. And you talk to people on a regular basis, sometimes by Zoom, but also electronically, of course, who are working on different aspects of Roman archaeology, everywhere from the Syrian desert to, to the northern German Limes, uh, to people who are working in recently peaceful countries and also people who working in countries that are not peaceful at the moment. And having that sense of how the whole thing fits together is a huge privilege, and I feel I feel very privileged to be doing this. I'm very keen as well to hear from potential contributors and from other colleagues in the discipline about what they think JRA should be doing next. So please do get in touch if you have suggestions or questions. I and the rest of the editorial team will be very keen indeed to hear your ideas and to engage with them.